Hey guys, welcome back to the Global Life. So, a uh, short episode today. Um, we're um, here in Europe, and on the way in, we had an interesting approach. Uh, in fact, uh, two approaches. Uh, the first one obviously led to a missed approach. Uh, we came down to ILS minimums, didn't see anything in the fog. Um, thankfully, there's a Cat 2 approach available on that same runway. So after the missed approach, uh, we set up for the Cat 2, came back around and made it in. Just squeaked it in. Um, you'll see in the video uh, during the Cat 2 approach and landing that the the minimums, you'll hear the minimums call and it seems like the runway comes into focus right after. Um, the way that the camera was set up is a little bit weird um, vision wise uh, you, that, that's what you get to see but um, for us the uh, and you don't hear the PNF calling uh, visual on the runway uh, of the runway sorry uh, before the minimums call but it all happened about just at the same time he called visual minimums call you see me disconnect the autopilot at the same time uh, so we could land it at that point we're pretty close to the runway already and um, interesting fact with uh, the Global Express you can keep the autopilot down on all the way down to 50 feet um, as per the FAA but uh, European requirements uh, are a little bit higher so even on, a, on an ILS um, you now have to disconnect the autopilot at 80 feet um, anyhow everything went well we landed no problem and um, continued in on uh, low visibility um, in uh, at the airport um, another difference uh, that we weren't aware of and that we learned that day is that uh, in North America for cat 2 approaches to be granted um, the ATIS needs to state that cat 2 operations are in effect um, whereas the ATIS at this airport only stated ILS uh, approach for the runway 32 and uh, nothing about CAT 2, only that low visibility operations were in effect. So we learned that uh, on the second go, on the second try, we just asked for the CAT 2 and they said, yeah, absolutely, if you guys are, are okay with it, which we were certified and typed and equipped for CAT 2, so we did that and that worked out. So anyway, without uh, further ado, just uh, enjoy the video. The first part of the video obviously is uh, first approach, ILS 32 left, down to ILS minimums. Um, the second approach is down to CAT 2 minimums. And uh, only the big difference between the two is our uh, rate alt. Uh, minimums are set to rate alt for an ILS. Uh, sorry, minimums are set to barrel for the ILS and uh, to rate alt for the CAT 2 um, once both sets. Both PFDs are set to rate alt minimum instead of um, um, barrel, then the CAT2 uh, activates. The CAT2 system of the airplane activates and you get an indication now that you're green to go for CAT2. There we go. Enjoy the video guys.
auto flow.
say. Minimum. Minimum. Yeah. be past that whole short like the second whole short I think. I don't know if that's uh if they have one of those there. Yeah. Well guys thanks again for watching and uh hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you liked it leave a thumbs up uh, hit the bell to subscribe and see you next time.